Aloha! And welcome to Don We Now, My Gay Opinion. I'm Donnie, and today we'll be talking about Operation Christmas Drop on Netflix. This movie is about... I really couldn't tell you. I tried to watch this movie for three days, and I completed it. Thank God Netflix has an option to watch it at 1.5 times the speed because... It just wasn't for me. For as long as I can remember, my dad has liked war movies or like anything with vets and stuff. Veterans, not veterinarians. I mean, he might like veterinarian movies too. I just don't know that there's a lot of them. But my dad's liked cowboy movies and war movies. And I like neither of those. To be fair, I don't think there are all of these, whatever, army people, what are they called? Soldiers, like sitting around the army base watching movies about gay boys in New York City. So, we're even. That's not true, I did see, I think Brothers with Topher Grace and Jake Gyllenhaal, I think one of them was the army guy. That was juicy. But like that new one with Nick Jonas and Mandy Moore, they tried it with the cast, but you ain't fooling me. I see you wearing fatigues, count me out. But this movie's based on a true, not a true story, like a true charity. It's basically the same plot as yesterday's movie, except switch out a newspaper for the government and switch out the 12 Days of Parody with dropping Christmas and food supplies to different islands. Here's what I can make sense of the movie. I don't really understand it. And I wasn't watching The Matrix here. It's not hard to understand. My eyes glossed over. Now, if you watched it and loved it, I'm not here to judge. Please leave your comments in the comments. <laughs> See, the movie is not, the movie isn't, the movie even has, <laughs> the movie made me lose my damn mind. So it's about this girl that works in DC for like some kind of politician. Couldn't tell you what she is. And the politician says like, there's Air Force people dropping supplies to different islands. That's coming out of taxpayers' dollars. The people they're dropping supplies to aren't taxpayers. So let's get to the bottom of this. Where's this money coming from? So they send this main girl played by Kat Graham. If you watch The Vampire Diaries, she, was, she played Bonnie. And if you're a gay man, she like sings that song that drag queens sing on like amateur night. Put your graffiti on me, huh, huh, huh? So if you're either of those two categories, you're familiar. So she plays this politician's assistant? I don't know. And she has to go to the island for Christmas to like get to the bottom of where this money's coming from for all these supplies. So she gets there and she's a grump. She's one of these girls that doesn't like Christmas because on these networks, there are plenty. Do you guys know any business women in real life that hate Christmas? Leave their contact information in the comments below. I'd love to interview them. But she gets there and she's trying to get the scoop. There's like something happening with an iguana. That's a big deal. He's like magic. <laughs> I really don't know. Should I pick a different movie? <laughs> no, I know. I know enough. I watched an hour and a half of that. I'm not picking a different movie. I'm not going through this again. I just feel like Netflix is better than this, but maybe I'm the problem. Did anyone else watch this and like it? Okay, so let me just do my job. She's there, trying to get to the bottom of this, slowly falls in love with one of these Air Force people. She starts to learn s slowly and slowlier. Slowly and slowlier? Slow and slower? Slowly but surely? <gasps> She starts to learn slowly but surely that a lot of these supplies are people donating like rice and Santa hats. The big deal is they're trying to get generators supplied, but the mayor of whatever island they're on, Hawaii, sure, let's go with it. He's like, I don't have money to supply generators as a donation. So then I think there's some kind of fundraiser. I don't know what happens exactly, but... <laughs> They donate generators at the end. But then her boss, she like calls her throughout it. And she's like, what's your progress? Guys, I promise the rest of the month is gonna be good. Please don't give up on me yet. <laughs> okay, so I lied. There's one thing about the war that I like. I don't know what war it is though. 
But it's the musical South Pacific. And when I was in seventh grade, I saw the, my high school do it. In seventh grade though, it looked like high art. I already knew before I wanted to be a performer, but like they were really good. And then when I was in summer camp, we did it and I was like, oh, this is my chant. And I was cast as the lead in it, Emile Hirsch. No, that's not his name. Emile Hirsch is an actor from like The Girl Next Door and something else. Emile Lebec, Lebec, whatever, I've gone off on a tangent. Bali, I will call you. <laughs> but the point is, I'm not like anti-war. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am anti-war. You know, like not in movies. If it's if it's cute, I'll watch it. I just don't like Christmas movies set on a beach. I think I talked about the movie. I mean, I know I talked about the movie a little bit, but I think I like summed up everything I know about the movie. They kiss as some girls playing a Christmas song on the ukulele. Let's wrap it up here because I got nothing. The naughty is all of it. The nice is, I guess if it was something I was interested in, I might enjoy it. The fact that it's a real charity is cool. I read more about it and they like drop stuff to 53 islands every Christmas. So that is nice. I just didn't really need to see it. I, I would have rather watched a documentary on the actual Operation Christmas Drop it was a lot of unnecessariness. It was a lot of unnecessariness. That should be the log line of the movie. Thank you for tuning in for day three of Don Me Now My Gay Opinions. Tomorrow we'll be watching The Christmas Ant on Lifetime, starring Keisha Knight Pullman, Pulliam. And as promised, the rest of the month will be good. I'll pay more attention to the movie, I promise. And if you did watch this and loved it, I'm sorry I just shit talked to you for 10 minutes. I didn't shit talk to you, I shit talked to the movie. But like, I said I could be the problem. I'm gonna wash that man right out of my head. That's from South Pacific too. Like two, <laughs> two as in also, not two as in, there's not a sequel to South Pacific. Reba McIntyre was in a production of it. I wanna say they did a production of it with like, Carrie Underwood or Claire Danes or, Jewel or something on NBC. I don't know if that was a musical though. Hold on, I'm researching. <laughs> it was Glenn Close. I mean, close enough. Close enough. Should I just do a review for South Pacific instead? I have more to say about it. Bali, I will call you.